libraries are always changing and trying to remain relevant. And you know, pre-COVID, it was this libraries are a meeting place for meeting. You know, it's where we want the community to, to gather and programs and discuss things. And then COVID happened. So many libraries were shut down. I'm happy to say that we we tried our best to do everything during COVID. I mean, we were delivering you know curbside books, and I mean it was a real a testament to, to my staff with how they handled things and provided services for the community. And so we're we're starting to go back to that. You know, programming is has picked up a little bit in the last year or so. Um, but we're always trying to remain relevant and community-minded and collaboration with other com community organizations. That's such an important part of libraries. And I think some places are hesitant to collaborating, collaboration sometimes, but you know, it's the overlap of, of things, you know, gets to be a bit much, you know, where we're doing trying to do the same thing that another organization is doing, and why not put our heads together and you know, work together. So we have uh, a budget that we, we use that um, a, a different several different um, sources of that uh, of that budget from you know city county state federal government um, and there's always uh, we have a great friends of the library as well so they you know it's kind of a, a, an organization that puts on like the book sales that the library has and any money they raise goes back to the library to supplement our budget for maybe some things that maybe aren't in the budget that we can use their monies to to supplement. So overall, how would you say this library is doing, you know, now that COVID is over, are you guys in pretty good shape or? You know, there there's some, there's some parts of the patron population that still haven't returned yet. Or, you know, there was a time when our public computers were full all the time and you know, when we were close to the public, some of those people, I think, found other sources to get their, you know, information from. But we're, we're seeing, a, you know, there's been a pretty good rebound. Uh, and programming has been, been great and numbers. And we really, I, I'm fortunate to have a very supportive library board. The city is supportive. County is supportive. Um, I have a staff that uh, are into their job, which always helps. And... Um, so I, I, th I think we're, we're doing well, um, you know, for a library building that's over 50 years old. We do a pretty good job of working with what we have. And um, so, yeah, we're a very, I think we have very good community support here. And so I'm, I'm happy with uh, what we're doing. Um, clearly, we've got a collection of uh, materials that are aimed specifically at kids um, from birth to 18. So downstairs we have the collection that is for um, younger kids up through right about middle school. And then um, upstairs on the mezzanine here we have the young adult collection, <coughs> which is aimed more at uh, teen patrons. Mm -hmm. uh, the kids are the best part of my job. Uh, story time days are, even, even if you've you know, not slept well the night before or have some some bigger thing going on. Anytime there's a story time day, the kids are just a delight. Uh, hearing all of their all of their stories because yes, story time is about uh, sharing books and resources with kids, uh, but it's also about singing and dancing and jumping up and down and having a conversation with the kids because you know you're reading a book about a giraffe and. I saw a giraffe. My uncle owns a zebra. <laughs> so they're they're full of stories that they want to share with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want to say about the Chippewa Falls Public Library? Um, I guess I would just uh, point out that we're uh, about, yes, books, but so much more than books. We've got a collection of um, the Library of Things, so, like, there's a, a record player that you can um, change records over into MP3 files with. Um, a lot of people don't have a CD player anymore, but if there's music that you can't get streaming-wise or streaming isn't a capability that folks have, um, we have a CD player that they can check out. A uh, metal detector and a pickleball kit, so um, lots of hands-on things as well. And um, I think 
we're not necessarily as collection focused as the library used to be strictly about that where we're more about um, being a community space and a community resource whether it's uh, coming to a library program using the materials checking them out or um, using our meeting room space.